uh, what do you know about China? Uh, what do you hear from the media about China? And just uh, what comes to your mind when you think about China? Sir, China is like one of the media that is very strong. War, war, war. India, China, war, India, China, war. There are many Indians that are in the world. First, the media is in the world. Namali, Mathe, China, the Banda, the Badebe, the relationships, the war stop, the Raji Sandan, 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 the Raji the Raji Sandan, 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 the Raji Wars, openly China, blatantly China has been supporting Pakistan in certain things. So that kind of make me feel that you can't trust that country. Uh, though in general, there would be a lot to learn from that country in terms of how they have been man managing their trades, how have they grown their economy. I am proud, proud to tell that I am an Indian soldier. I was Indian soldier. Like me, there are thousands of lakhs of soldiers in China and similar in Pakistan and Bangladesh, everywhere. What's the role of a soldier? To protect their country, to follow the order of the commander. They sacrifice their life. Yes. They're not basically, I am not their enemy of Pakistan or any brother. They are also our country, neighboring country. They are following the command of their superior. They are protecting their country. So, do you think our country is now with India? Do you think our country will be in the future with India? Do you think our country will be in the future with India? Do you think our country will be in the future with India? Do you think our country will be in the future with India? Do you think our country will be in the future with India? Do you think our country will be in the future with India? Do you think our country will be in the future with India? Do you think our country will be in the future with India? Do you think our country will be in the future with India? Do you think our country will be in the future with India? 影响力肯定是有的，反正都肯定是以和为贵嘛。虽然可能有小矛盾，但是主要是两个还是能合作的合作，能能共赢的共赢嘛。作为友好的邻国，应该会更加帮助他们吧。基础建设吧，因为基础建设会让印度的公民嘛会越来越好的，包括交通方便，因为想要富先修路嘛，对吧？可能是基础建设都要更重要，还有就是工业。嗯，希望能搬到印度这个他们的当地的产品或者设备啥的，进一个出口，可以帮到他们这个人口的一个工作率上升，工资也会上升，这样就慢慢好起来了。Uh, so the social economic conditions in India were terrible uh, at the time of independence in the 1951 census. You saw that there was only 16% literacy in the country. The situation of, of health was so bad in the 1930 that population actually decreased in spite of a very high death rate because the, the health systems were very weak. The social economic conditions in India were very, very weak. This is what I call disruption in society. So in India, the disruption was not only in economic terms, but also in terms of consciousness. Uh, we believed in Western modernity, and that's why we copied Western modernity in India. Uh, now in China, they had a revolution uh, from below, uh, which was quite different from what happened in India. So I think uh, we cannot say that because we were both governed by uh, Western uh, imperialism, the experience was the same. Uh, it is historically conditioned. So that's why I have argued in my book on the Indian economy that this historical conditioning has not gone away. It has remained the same. And India's uh, policies have made a shift in 1991 from being uh, you know, uh, even-handed between the two you know, Cold War blocks to moving towards the uh, US uh, block. And this you can see right from the 90s to the 2000s and so on. And uh, on the other hand, uh, there were good relations between India and China from 1988 onward. There was no uh, conflict there at the border. It was, uh, you know, uh, uh, trade was increasing, etc. But then from around uh, 2010, India started perceiving that it was getting encircled by China uh, because of relationship with Nepal, what's happening in Nepal, in Myanmar, in Sri Lanka, in Pakistan, and so on. So India felt threatened by that. And also, you know, the quad got formed between uh, Japan, Australia, uh, India, and the USA. Uh, they, they were also uh, feeling 
that you know china's uh, advancing very rapidly and the one belt one road initiative was also seen as a extension of chinese power so in other words the global competition increased for resources uh, from both sides uh, so therefore there was lack of trust that started getting built up initially when uh, mr modi became the prime minister he tried to develop good relationship you know president li uh, zi came to india several times and there were good uh, communication between them but after 2017 that has deteriorated you know and therefore the border skirmishes have taken place uh, which is not a good sign because that then brings in nationalism the issue of nationalism so the issue of nationalism in india has been raised as a result of what's been happening at the border and that is detrimental to the good relationship between india and china Uh, the border issue is an emotional issue uh, that issue needs to be settled but I, as i said that uh, there has been this feeling in india that india is getting encircled by china with the uh, china moving in rapidly in nepal and uh, myanmar sri lanka pakistan and so on uh, so in fact uh, india is not even able to uh, look after its own self interest in south asia because it feels uh, threatened uh, from china therefore the border issue is very important and this idea that you know no nation should pose a threat to another nation if that is not there then i think conflict will continue and conflict will uh, uh, you know not allow cooperation to take place uh, trade of course as uh, professor lin mentioned and i also mentioned is another friction point that needs to be taken care of how do we get into a more equitable trade as i said you know the world cannot have a, a, a you know surplus for all countries somebody's surplus is somebody's deficit and that then has an economic impact on that economy so both at the trade level and at the level of the border i think we need to have uh, more confidence amongst ourselves and also this idea that you know we form a quad so as to counter the chinese uh, uh, influence around our areas the chinese ships coming into the indian ocean is a new threat that is perceived by india recently the hambam tota port in uh, china the port in pakistan which uh, china is accessing through the one belt one road initiative etc these are all seen as threats by india so as long as you know th- there are these kind of threats cooperation will become uh, quite difficult so whether china feel threatened by the quad or whether india feels threatened at the border these kind of threats should be reduced and cooperation needs to be brought in between the two countries uh, trade is also a friction point because india's trade with china has a huge deficit so i think that also needs to be addressed because as long as there's such a large deficit in trade uh, india would also feel threatened in terms of economic uh, uh, aspects so i think these are the areas on which we need to build cooperation between china and india so that you know there's trust established uh, we don't feel threatened by each other and once that happens then i think greater cooperation can come about because of the past that we've had in which there has been collaboration between india and china where there was cooperation so i think uh, as professor lin said historically we've had good civilizational relationships those need to be built upon you know so uh, i think uh, the first step is political if politically we are able to agree on uh, our borders we are able to freeze that the second is the economic aspect of the trade and third is then build on the historical uh, you know uh, background of the both the countries so these could be a way of promoting get greater cooperation between india and china i think uh, actually uh, china india have uh, many uh, cooperations in many areas uh, they can cooperate uh, but, but i think uh, first three uh, maybe we have uh, try to agree to disagree on some of the uh, issues we have to face the uh, some of the basic fact actually we have a different uh, perception about such as the border issues and uh, then we have to think how we can uh, further the issues just like uh, professor alu kumar has mentioned Uh, if we have uh, really difficult to resolve the border issues currently maybe we have to think of a way to frozen uh, these issues and the the second uh, aspect i think is really important has to change the mentality 
for how you frame your thinking about the the uh, issues, such as the uh, China India cooperations, uh, economic cooperations. If you just focus on the uh, the the uh, reality games from cooperations, uh, you just focus on the trade imbalance, which is uh, negative to Indian interests. How you can uh, make a gain from the uh, economic cooperation? Uh, you know, actually, uh, China has a long, uh, huge trade deficit with the uh, de developed countries, such as uh, the North Korea, such as Japan. Uh, also, China has made a campaign then uh, at that time, but uh, gradually uh, the situation has changed. So uh, you have to change your mentality about the way you think about the issue. And also concerning the Chinese cooperation with some of the other uh, South Asian countries. And also I think uh, for Indian also have a very strong uh, mentality about the backyard. The South Asians belong to Indians' backyard. Uh, this mentality, I think, is not uh, good for Chinese cooperation with the other South Asian countries. China is not like to uh, circling uh, Indian. Uh -huh. You know, actually, uh, why I think the ASEAN country can uh, make a great achievement in economic development, so that is because Southeast Asia was more opening to uh, all the great powers. So he can get the investment for all the big powers. And also, uh, you know, uh, actually, Indians' rights has not a benefit for, has not a bringing uh, other uh, South Asian countries' uh, economy rights because you only have a very limited uh, economy interdependence within the regions. And uh, you know, uh, after BRI has been proposed, actually China has made a greater contribution to many South Asian countries' infrastructures. Many big projects has been uh, finished by Chinese company. And uh, we have to think of the way how China and India can cooperate to help all the regions to realize the economy rising. This is the best way we can do for, for this region and also for Chinese neighboring countries. And also this is the way uh, China has done for Southeast Asian countries uh, after the 1990s. China rise and also bring the uh, Southeast Asian countries the economy rise. So we can, we, we have to change our uh, mentality and uh, uh, this is really important. If you just uh, keep thinking the Indian Ocean is Indian's ocean, you just keep thinking uh, South Asians is the backyard of Indian. Uh, then you, you, you will try to block China's presence in these regions. Uh, you, you, you try to block the BRIs. We don't have to make the economy cooperation issues as the geopolitical structure between the great powers. I think uh, we, we have to, uh, to change the mentality about our thinking about the China-Indian relations. This is the most important for us. Mm -hmm.